Hello and welcome to the third and final part of my Xnet mod spotlight or tutorial series, what you want to call it. If you haven't watched the previous ones, I recommend you do that first. At least the first video is very important. Um, and today we're wrapping up this, um, this mod with the routers and router networks. Just before we do that, let's take a look at these colored cables. As you might recognize, this is the normal color that you do most of the time with the normal recipe. But if you have a different color, like red or yellow or anything, you can get the normal back just by combining it with the lapis. And there are three other colors combined with the well, combine with your colors, of course, to, to get that as you normally do. And it, again, it doesn't matter what color you had. You will get the, the green one, even if you have red or the normal one. All right. And then there's actually another color, but it's not the normal cable. This is a routing network cable with a very different recipe. So this one is used together with this little component. The connector, I call it the blue connector, or the routing connector perhaps. It is used only in routing networks. And we'll get to that in just a few minutes uh, after we cover the router, which is the core of the networking when you do larger networks. So this router is what makes it possible to connect two different networks to each other. As you know, we are limited, limited to eight channels where you can have a large set of rules even within the same channel, but you might still be, uh, you might be in need of more or you, or you have different parts of your base. Perhaps you have one network here that does one thing and you have another network over there that makes something else but you want to share power or be able to fetch items from your main network or something like that, then you will need this router and you set it up quite simply actually. So let's start with the controller over here. Um, I want it like that. I'll place the router over here and then we have a totally different network over there. So to begin with, let's just do so we can get some energy up and running. And we do the same thing here just to be make things easy for us. Connect like you do with a normal interface or <laughs> when you when you connect to a normal chest or machine with a connector. On this side, you do the same thing. And you can have the same color or you can go with a different color. It doesn't really matter. Now, they are still not the same network. Even if I place, uh, let's see, a chest here and here, I can only see one chest in my, in my list of uh, my device list. Uh, same thing goes for this one. So let's throw some oak woods in here and we want to reach them from both networks. Well, this is how you do it. Begin with creating a rule, an item rule. Let's disable this while we're working with it. And we create an extract rule here and basically nothing else. Well, there's one very important thing. You need to name it. So this is my items. All right, this channel name is optional for all my other examples in this, uh, in this area. The channel name isn't really important at all, unless you just want to name them to keep track of them. But if you want to run router networks, then you need to name them. And I'll demonstrate how it looks if you don't. Here we have another one. Let's set it to an insert, disable it while we're working. And we don't name it. 
Then we take a look in the router network. Items, the channel items, it's the one we had over here, items. It can be seen here, so let's give it, a, let's publish this. Uh, we publish it by giving it a name. I recommend having a different name, but I think it works quite well even if you have the same. So uh, let's call it wood because that's what we want to distribute on this uh, on this channel. All right. We won't be able to reach this because I haven't connected this channel to this channel. So items wood connects to well nothing. We need to let's see this is wood two or uh, something like that. Then if we take a look in here, then we'll see the second channel and we connect them to wood. Now, the items channel is connected to the wood2 channel because they have a, the, a common published name. And let's see if this works. If we now enable the channels, actually we should set something else. We should set like keep 20 in here at all times, like that. And now if we enable this to be extracted, things start to show up in here. So the, what we have done here is actually a local channel network. We only have one router to connect two networks and you can have up to six networks connected through one router. However, you might, perhaps it's not enough or you want a slightly different setup. Perhaps like this one. This is a, I would say this is a true router network because then we have a network in between. This is the blue one, the blue that we got from here. This and this. They are only used in when we have a router networks between routers. Okay, so let's take a look at how it looks. And actually, it looks the same. Here we have our main network, this, uh, th this normal little network here with the sterling generator and a chest. Here we have some uh, ingots and we have a generator producing lots of RF. And let's take a look here. First, the energy channel in this one. I'm calling this power G, like in green, although this is like bluish, but okay. Um, we extract from the starting generator at all times and we insert into the controller here. So we're just import inserting power from this one to here, like a local network. But we also have a name on it. And in this router, power G, I'll publish this as the power network. And then we, and if you take a look in the red network, here we have nothing, but we are in the yellow channel, the energy channel, we are inserting into the controller and we're taking power from the power R, like in red, power R. And power R here is also connected to the power network in the router network. And this means that we will transfer power from here to here exactly as we did over there. And since we have published them as power, specifically this one, we can do the same thing from here. So we have a blue connector here and some network cable or a router cable to another router. Then we can see the remote channels that we can, that, that we can see from this one through another router over here or over there for that matter. And here I have another energy channel, I just call it power and the local power network is connected to the power network in the, uh, in the router network. That means that this power network is the same as this one and that's why we can insert, insert power into the controller and we're keeping it full at all times. 
I have done the same and the same thing over there. It looks exactly the same. If we have a chest here, I can extract from it like we do with the Sterling generator in the in our night network. And I'm calling this ingots G. Here I have ingots G to ingots. And then we do the same thing here again. We insert from ingots R and ingots R here are also connected to the ingots network. So they are in the same network right now. And then we're just inserting max amount of five iron ingots. And if we remove, oh, oops, if we remove some, we'll get them back. Taken from here, of course. Here, exactly the same thing. They'll be restocked. And if I quickly set up a rule over here, we have the same thing here. We have power and power. And I want the green one to have, let's see, item. And we'll set the name ingots three. Um, and then we have, I oh, need to connect a chest here. And this one we insert, uh, let's see, gold and keep five. Nothing will happen because we haven't published it yet. So, and we can see ingots, ingots, connect them together like that and we start to get gold here. I think the maximum amount of published channels is 32 right now. Um, I think I read it on the wiki. So keep that in mind. You can't do as... <laughs> there's a limit of how many you can do. And uh, But actually, anyway, this is how you do it. And you can connect more cables here. Another router. Oops, we need a connector. And then we set a connector here, cable, and a controller. Here, local channels. And we need to have some power before we insert stuff. But basically, it's the same thing over and over again. I don't know if there's a limit of how many routers you can connect, but I think uh, <laughs> that you can connect enough to fill the 32 at least. All right, I think that pretty much covers the entire mod. I divided it in three episodes and I hope you really like this mod and this series because I think it's a very neat mod and it was really fun to make the tutorial series about it. There might be more videos in this playlist uh, where I do like more relevant builds, uh, proper item sorting or automation within the base, but that will be more specific and dedicated builds for that. Anyway, I hope I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.